Hello everyone, I hope all is well. And today and this week we are going to cover the following. If you watched the previous video, and I hope you did, make sure you always review back the main page and make sure that you write down notes so that you understand what this unit is about and what is expected of you. Regarding this week, we're going to we're going to cover the following. It's the first week, and I hope you all enjoyed your um, winter break. But we're going to start off with the following. We're going to identify the new unit's concept and its context. What is our unit going to be about? And we're going to discuss what you already know about this unit. As you can see, if you scroll down the chart of see, think, and wonder, you're going to tell me what you see. We might display images. What do you think about the image itself? And what do you wonder? So perhaps you already have significant knowledge about ancient civilizations. And I want you to reflect here your knowledge about it. And what else would you wonder to know? as the unit progresses. So if there's an aspect that isn't mentioned in the book, but all of you are curious about, we could implement it in the unit. Our next lesson, we're going to begin with exploring civilizations and how they begin. Um, we're going to discuss how people lived before ge generating a civilization. So obviously people weren't just born in a village. Uh, they started off as hunter-gatherers. So we're going to discuss the meaning of hunter-gatherers how they lived their life, and how did they come up with moving to civilization and living beside a water resource and the importance of this water resource. So as you scroll down, don't forget to click on the PowerPoint and review it. Watch the videos as they are very important and reflect certain aspects that we want you to know. This part is very important, this video, which includes the rise and fall of his, uh, history's first empire. So the first empire we're going to discuss, I want you to take a look at it to identify what it is. <clears throat> All right, so our first, uh, first two days are mostly introduction. I get to hear your perspective, what you already know about a civilization, and um, the, the role of hunter-gatherers and how they ended up moving to an area where their population grew and they became a civilization. After we establish the rise of a civilization briefly without delving in depth into one, we're going to differentiate between primary and secondary source. Uh, if you remember, we've discussed this before uh, during our visit to the, uh, to our, to the library with Ms. With Manal. She indicated the difference between primary and secondary resources. And we did last unit, if you remember, when we began with O and P, origin and purpose. We evaluated a source based on where it came from, who wrote it, when was it published, and whether it is primary or secondary. Is it authentic? or is it a reflection of an authentic source? So in other words, we're going to repeat this and we're going to look at diverse examples where we're going to indicate whether they are primary or secondary. Make sure after you watch the video, you click on the interactive activity to reflect your knowledge and understanding. Notice that I'm using the terms associated with criterion A, and this will help us understand and help you understand whether you have grasped the concept or not. I hope you have a lovely week.